Hi, Matt Sexton here, Canterbury Rugby Academy Manager and National Resource Coach and Throwing Coach for the New Zealand Rugby Union. I'm here to talk to you today about line-out throwing. The areas that we're going to be covering off today are the elements of the line-out throw, the principles of accurate line-out throwing, some skills and drills applicable to getting better at it, and some common faults. First of all, looking at the various elements of the breakdown of the line-out throw, and I want to cover off, firstly, the grip on the ball. And as you can see, um, with, the, with Ben's grip, He's, uh, his fingers are across the seam. What that does is uh, it's, it's a good practice and that what it provides is a little bit of grip for wet conditions um, where you can run your fingers across the seam as you, as you release the ball to create nice spin on, on the ball. Just covering off on some of the principles of line out throwing, the first one to consider is especially important for young throwers is the idea of using large muscle groups to small muscle groups. And what we mean by that is making sure that the legs, the glutes and the abdominals start creating momentum for, for the thrower and the arms just finish off. So here we've got some examples of some hooker initiated throws. Some of the key points to practice around this are making sure that the hooker is able to throw into space and with a hooker initiated throw there's not really a target for the hooker to, to hit. Fundamental to accurate throwing is a strong core and powerful release. Of course, really important to maintain stability, but also to generate power. 